Just a reminder, your category is Problems in Bioprocess Engineering. Is it ethanol extracting process? That's correct. Here with the Bioprocess Engineers, we want to educate you on a problem in bioprocess engineering as well as prepare you for real-world situations where you can use this information to benefit you. And what's more real-world than game shows? In this video, we'll be introducing you to a problem in bioprocess engineering and showing you situations where this information might be used. Dude, sadly, neither of the two families could identify any part of the ethanol extracting process and instead resorted to petty bickering. But the answers are, survey says, dry grind, wet milling, and lignocellulose. The two current processes for extracting ethanol are wet milling and dry grind. These next two graphs will describe the process in further detail. A problem with the dry grind process is that it makes a very fibrous co-product called distillers dry grains with solubles. If the process of extracting ethanol were to be changed, more fiber could be removed and used. A problem with the lignocellulosic process is that it's very difficult to complete and not as simple to separate. So for this next game, all you need to do is take these three methods of ethanol extraction and put them in the correct order of price. Alright, I'm going to do this. I'm going to win that solid gold toilet seat. Ugh. Alright, okay, I think, I think I got this. I'm feeling myself. Is this right? I'm sorry, that's not correct. Not all processes of extracting ethanol are the same price, and they also end up with co-products of different worth. The dry grind process is the cheapest, and it leaves no profit for one-third of the total outputs. In wet milling, the co-products are worth more, but the process is three times the price. While the lignocellulosic process has the most valuable co-products, it is the most expensive to complete. Changes in the processing of these methods using bioprocess engineering can help with all of these problems. Process research can improve co-product value by implementing an enzymatic dry grind process. The co-products would be a high-value germ and a more widely usable DDGS with less fiber so that more livestock can feed on it. If the lignocellulosic process was changed so that less pretreatment was needed for the inputs, the enzyme manufacturing cost would, be, would decrease, maximizing performance and co-product worth. To increase corn oil production, research is creating new enzymes to more efficiently help the process. An example would be GSH enzyme. This would turn the two-step to one-step conversion. Researchers work with pretreatment options for corn stovers, such as ammonia fiber explosion, to improve the process speed and yield.